Question 11. How to print selected text? Answer. If the email message is in the HTML format, print the message from Internet Explorer. 1. Open the email message. 2. On the ribbon, click other actions, and then click view in browser. Question 12. What is HTTP protocol? Answer. The HTTP hypertext transfer protocol is not a protocol dedicated for email communications, but it can be used for accessing your mailbox. Also called web-based email, this protocol can be used to compose or retrieve emails from in your account. Hotmail is a good example of using HTTP as an email protocol. Question 13. What is SMTP protocol? Answer. The SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, protocol is used by the mail transfer agent, MTA, to deliver your email to the recipient's mail server. The SMTP protocol can only be used to send emails, not to receive them. Depending on your network, ISP settings, you may only be able to use the SMTP protocol under certain conditions. See incoming and outgoing mail servers see also smtp rfc question 14 what is imap protocol answer imap internet message access protocol is a standard protocol for accessing email from your local server imap is a client server protocol in which email is received and held for you by your internet server as this requires only a small data transfer this works well even over a slow connection such as a modem only if you request to read a specific email message will it be downloaded from the server. You can also create and manipulate folders or mailboxes on the server. Delete messages etc. See also imap.org. Question 15. Explain email protocol. Answer. Basically, a protocol is about a standard method used at each end of a communication channel, in order to properly transmit information. In order to deal with your email you must use a mail client to access a mail server. The mail client and mail server can exchange information with each other using a variety of protocols. Question 16. How to clear the search history? Answer. The contact quick find feature stores each search. If an item is already in the list, you can select it quickly for a repeat search. But the list can rapidly grow too large to be helpful. Outlook stores search items in the registry. To clear the list, delete the following registry key. Software Microsoft Office version in Outlook quick find me. Question 17. Explain extended reminders for multiple task folders. Answer. You can have more than one task folder, but Outlook recognizes reminders and follow-up flags only for the items in the default task folder. That means if you set a reminder for an item in a non-default task folder, Outlook will ignore it. If you must have this capability, consider using a third-party product, such as extended reminders. Question 18. How to make contacts appear in the address book? Answer. When addressing email, you can choose from contacts items, usually. If contacts don't appear, right-click the contacts folder, choose properties, and then click the Outlook address book tab. Make sure the show this folder as an email address book is checked. If that option is dimmed, choose email accounts from the tools menu and then choose view or change existing directories or address book and do one of the following if outlook address book isn't in the list add it then close outlook and restart it if outlook address book is listed delete it close outlook restart and then add it Question 19. How to archive to avoid losing data? Answer. Outlook has a critical design flaw. If you don't archive or delete messages regularly, your file will grow too large for Outlook to handle. Eventually, Outlook will choke. If this happens, you can download a crop tool that will reduce the size of your personal folder's file. Unfortunately, you lose data because this tool removes some to reduce the size of the file. Avoiding the problem is is the best defense delete messages you don't need to keep archive items regularly
Question 20. How to prompt for profiles? Answer. Outlook can handle more than one profile. An Outlook profile is similar to a Windows user account. Each profile contains settings specific to a single user. However, if you define more than one profile, you must tell Outlook to prompt for a profile. As follows, from the Windows Start menu, choose Control Panel. Double-click Mail. Click Show Profiles. Click the prompt for a profile to be used option and click OK. Now, when you launch Outlook, it will ask you to choose a profile.